APWU members employed at the bulk mail centers also met in conference. BMC workers face new challenges because the Postal Service shifted the processing of priority mail to these facilities and changed the name from bulk mail centers to national distribution centers. And then we're just trying to coordinate among each other to make sure that it, you know, whatever is happening to one BMC, it's not happening to the other or vice versa, so we can learn from each other. So we have email network and we communicate not just only at this meeting, but on a regular basis. Proud to say that two years ago we were at this same meeting when privatization was the big issue. And at that point they wanted to farm out all our work and basically it was going to lead to the demise of BMCs. And thanks to congressional uh, pressure that the APWU was behind, particularly Patrick Murphy, who's our congressman from Pennsylvania, 8th Congressional District, we were able to slow down that process and they went a different direction. The officers of the American Postal Workers Union say the National Convention provides an opportunity for members to voice their concerns and guide the union's leadership in upcoming contract negotiations. Yeah, our union is a, uh, a true picture of what a democratic process is intended to be. Uh, those citizens that don't understand the concept of people ruling themselves uh, have but to participate in our convention and they'll see uh, a real example of what democracy is intended to mean where individuals, members of our union, decide for themselves the direction of their union, the composition of the union, the rules that will govern their union. And that's what our convention is all about. They will be laying out for me during the course of this convention their priorities in the upcoming negotiations. Those things that are important to postal employees to make their work day more acceptable. And uh, I will take the clue uh, from their deliberations to this convention in the demands that I make at the bargaining table. You know, we, we've just finished uh, two or three years, and it's a continuing battle where the post office is trying to consolidate offices and, and close stations and branches and, and try to contract out more and more of our work. But that's, that's a battle that we have to take on as, as individuals in the union collectively and uh, work on that as legislative and, and demonstrations and different things because that is the battle in the future, to keep the jobs in the post office so our people, or our members have an opportunity to get those jobs. The single most important responsibility of the American Postal Workers Union is contract negotiation. And here at the convention, when I think about, um, or when I reflect on Joe Lewis' statue, you know, I, I think in terms of the upcoming fight between the American Postal Workers Union and the Postal Service. This will be, in my opinion, the toughest contract negotiations that, that we ever had. The Postal Service will be fighting uh, for concessions. Uh, they will be going after probably our uh, cost of living, um, greater flexibility. Uh, they will be seeking some type of concessions with our health care benefits. While at the same time, we'll be fighting to hold on to the hard fought benefits that we have achieved in previous contract negotiations. And also, we need to address the excessive excessing that's going on within the Postal Service, um, subcontracting out, and uh, seek greater job protection for American Postal Workers Union members. For the first time, the convention will include participation by some of the union's youngest members. Through an initiative by President Burris, the National Union is sponsoring postal workers age 35 and younger. At this convention, we have 102. 35 and under delegates that's attending from different locals from around the country. Um, it happened as a result of a resolution that the AFL-CIO passed at their last convention about getting more young workers involved. President Burris, who sits on the executive council for the AFL-CIO, believes in all the policies and the resolutions that we vote on. So I think we're one of the first international unions that have actually made provisions for bringing them to a national convention. This is going to be exciting for them. It's exciting for us. Uh, as I understand from speaking to several of the local presidents, some of them have never even um, held a union position. Hopefully, this is going to be encouragement for them to go back to get involved in the union. So watch for those young delegates in their blue t-shirts at Tuesday's rally. And don't forget to wear yours. 
Every convention includes a Sunday memorial service to remember departed APWU sisters and brothers, including those who have lost their lives defending our country. Let your angels and goodness and mercy surround us today. These families that lost their loved ones, they have our deepest sympathy. We know that it's nothing that we can do but just ask God's blessings and speed upon them. Hold on, Yeah. 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 Yeah.